Hello friends, resellers, and those of you just looking to make a quick buck. So if you're watching this video, you're probably curious what the heck is going on with USPS. Well, here's what's going on. The post office is raising prices, but only temporarily. They put out a press release back in August saying, hey guys, on October 18th, 2020, we're increasing prices. I have it right here, and we're gonna read off the highlights. And by highlights, I mean the things that I highlighted because I find them important. I also have a more comprehensive breakdown on my website, wbkultra.com, so go there. I have a link in the description below. Also remember, thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos just like this. Here is what the press release says. The planned temporary price adjustments are in response to increased expenses and heightened demand for online shopping package volume due to the coronavirus pandemic and expected holiday e-commerce. These are in effect from October 18th until December 27th. It starts at 12 a.m. Central Time, so I guess basically your last day is October 17th, which happens to be tomorrow. What is this affecting? It's affecting commercial postage, and most of you are going, well, I don't do commercial postage. I don't care about this. But you do use commercial postage. So anyone who buys postage off Amazon, who buys postage off eBay, who buys postage off Pirate Shipper, those rates will be increased. The retail rates are not being increased. The international rates are not being increased. The big, steep discounts you're used to getting, those are going to be going up. Press release goes on to say it's affecting Priority Mail Express, Priority Mail, First Class Package Service, Parcel Select, and Parcel Return Service. So when they say First Class Parcel Service, that's First Class Mail. They abbreviate it as FCPS, so if you're looking at the charts, it'll be designated as FCPS mail. They also don't specifically add in flat rate mailers or priority cubic rate mailers, but even though they're not on the press release right there, I looked up the complete spreadsheet of all the rate increases and they are in fact receiving the same rate increase as all other priority mail commercial. The price increases are as follows. So for first class mail, the minimum you would pay is 274. That minimum is now 299. There is a 25 cent increase across the board. If you want to see a more in-depth breakdown, I have the whole spreadsheet posted on my website. Again, link in the description below. It is wbkultra.com. The priority mail increase is also being applied to flat rate packages. So for example, if you use a flat rate padded mailer and we're paying $7.75, that will now cost you $8.15. That same 40 cent increase is applied across all priority mail, both regular just weight priority mail, flat rate priority mail, and cubic priority mail. I also want to point out that this is not to be confused with the permanent price increase occurring January 24th, 2021. That's a 1.8% increase for first class mail and a 1.5% increase for all the other commercial mail. The press release goes on to say, the postal service has some of the lowest mail postage rates in the industrialized world and also continues to offer a great value in shipping and that is absolutely true. If you have ever tried to ship something in Canada, you know it costs like 15 bucks for what normally costs like seven or eight dollars here in America. For that reason, I'm not very upset about the price increase. They go on to say that the time limited adjustment will increase prices for our commercial customers in line with competitive practices without impacting customers at the retail level. In doing this, the Postal Service is protecting the retail consumer during a vulnerable economic period while increasing prices on commercial volume during heightened volume levels. And that's kind of a bunch of bullshit. We have years and years and years of economic data saying, hey, when businesses are fined or taxed or we charge them more for stuff, they don't just say, oh, shucks, I guess I'm gonna lose some money. They pass that expense onto the customer. So I don't know what USPS is trying to pull with that paragraph, uh, but I suppose it's just the same bogus line you've been fed 
uh, by every politician probably your whole life. If you offer free shipping, you can't just increase your price by 40 cents because you're paying fees on that 40 cents. You're actually increasing it by like 44 cents, but you get what I'm trying to say. That was the video. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, please subscribe because I want to help you make more money. Bye.